today's changes in the Trump campaign from the woman we've just been hearing about. She's the new campaign manager, Kelly Ann Conway. Kelly Ann, hello. It's good to see you. We just heard Robert Costa say this has to do in part with Donald Trump, frankly, wanting less discipline, wanting to be himself on the campaign trail. Is that what's going on? Well, I believe, first of all, Judy, thank you for having me, and I appreciate your congratulations. So uh, everybody's always talking about the Donald Trump pivot. Pivot is style when they give him advice. It's don't say this, don't say that. Uh, you should do this, you shouldn't do that. And I think when he says, you know, he gets tired of being told by different people inside and outside of what to do and how to speak, it doesn't free him to talk about the issues, which is where he really wants to take this campaign. I think the discipline you have seen this week is in giving those speeches on Monday about radical Islamic terrorism, where whether people like the speech and the solutions or not, at least they can look at them. They can look at the roadmap. They can look at the several point plan and decide whether or not that is the commander in chief they would like to trust. Yesterday, he followed it up with a very unusual, very robust policy speech, really taking the case to Hillary Clinton and putting her on the hot seat to explain why after decades of public service herself, and why she's been a politician for decades, and why in all of our big cities we have Democratic mayors, and we have a rise in poverty and crime and homelessness, a rise in unemployment. So I think he's taken the case right back to Hillary Clinton, which is really his best shot at winning the presidency. And well, we just heard uh, from Robert Costa, and it's been reported, the other new person uh, or the new person elevated, I should say, in the campaign is Stephen Bannon, who does come from Breitbart News. And why would Donald Trump turn to him? He's someone who's never run a campaign before. He's been associated with this pretty controversial news website. What does Mr. Bannon bring? Donald Trump said it best, Judy, where he said, I know them well, and, they, and I want people who want to win and who believe I can win and who are warriors. And I think Bannon's a guy uh, ready for the right kind of battle, realizing that this is a pretty simple choice. You either want Donald Trump's view of free market health care, where it's portable and it's affordable and it's accessible to more people, or you want more of Aetna pulling out of 11 of 15 states just yesterday, announcing $430 million worth of losses over the last two years. That followed United Healthcare saying it would suffer a billion dollars in losses by being on the exchange. These are serious issues that impact people. And to Bob Costa, and to your point, Judy, uh, women are the chief healthcare officers of their households. These healthcare exchange realities on Obamacare are very real to them as the chief healthcare officers. And we would like to know if Mrs. Clinton owns Obamacare, if she, in other words, if she feels like it's a good policy moving forward, would she move us towards a single payer system? a la Bernie Sanders, are there pieces of Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, that she would scrap, or are there ones that she thinks are worth keeping? We need those questions answered. When you pivot, you know, the pivot really needs to be on substance. When you start talking about issues and not just individuals, when you start talking about well, principles and not just personalities, then we're having a conversation befitting of the voters. Well, let's try to understand what this is, because again, we just heard Robert Costa describe an approach that is uh, going to try to be not so partisan, not so quote unquote Republican versus Democratic. But we know that the Breitbart News website is what they call, uh, it's, it's been called alt-right, a movement of hard right ideologues and white nationalists who scorn traditional conservatism. Is that the philosophy Mr. Trump is embracing? No, it's not. And that's, I guess, someone's opinion or characterization of a website or stories on a website. But at the same time, I would like to I would like to point out because I think uh, too much of the reporting has said that this is um, a, a reset, this is a shakeup. The fact is, just over there in Trump Tower today, the core four Manafort and Gates, who have been on for a while, Bannon and myself, uh, we met on any number of issues. We reviewed the last cuts of our ads that are going up uh, this weekend. We sat in, all four of us sat in on the roundtable with national security and terrorism and foreign policy ex experts. I believe you showed some uh, footage from there. So we're all working together. This is an expansion of a team in these critical last couple of weeks. And, uh, and I, I think what's very important is that the candidate trusts the people around them. And you see who's there. No, despite what Hillary Clinton said today, that was a complete lie. Nobody got fired at the Trump campaign today. Um, nobody's feeding him. I, I found that to be really unbecoming to talk about 
Donald yeah. Trump reading new words off of a teleprompter. I mean, this has to this has to go both ways. Where she's pretty insulting of him, and I appreciate that it's actually getting covered here. Well, let me ask you a little bit more, Kelly and Conway, though, about where you do stand in the polls. You're a pollster. You've made it your your career. How do you read the polls? I mean, Donald Trump right now is running behind in virtually every single battleground state. Well, he is, and but with varying margins. And Judy, we're happy that it's August and not October or November. Uh, we recognize that there is work to do, and some of that work is among independent voters, some is among Republicans, and some are some is among the the work to be done among Democrats who, in the same poll, say that they just don't trust or much like Hillary Clinton. So we feel like they are open to our message, and we're going to work hard for all those votes. That's what campaigns are for. Campaigns are really for combining the message, the messenger, the delivery, the opportunities, the ground game, the data operation all of which is um, really coming into place. And I have to credit Manafort and Gates for putting so much of that together before we arrived. Secondly, if you look at the horse race numbers in these statewide polls, Judy, they look really great for Hillary Clinton. But if you go just a little bit underneath, you see that many of her fundamental measurements are still very poor. You have, uh, in, in the Virginia poll, for example, you have 54% of Virginians saying they are unfavorable towards Hillary Clinton. There's not a lot that she can do to change that image because they already know her. 68% said that the selection of Tim Kaine doesn't matter to their vote. 66% of the white voters there say that they very are unfavorable quickly. towards her. So, so me, she, she really needs to work on those as well. I just want to squeeze in one last question, and that is the description of the philosophy of this campaign as nationalist, almost isolationist. Is that something you accept? No, I, I, in fact, I emphatically reject it. And as I said, Judy, just hours ago, I sat in a roundtable with uh, former and current congressmen, with generals, with elected officials at very high levels, with national security and foreign policy experts, and that was not the talk around the, uh, that was not the conversation around the table. I assure you, we allowed the press in, and, and so um, no, I reject it. I, but I'm not surprised critics and naysayers have to do that. Look, the only thing I would ask of the Clinton campaign and many of their sympathizers is when you're asked a question about Hillary Clinton, try not to say Donald Trump every other word. That's where criticisms like that come from. I think people, if you have a real debate on the issues, you go back and you look at the radical Islamic speech from Monday, you go back and look at the law and order speech and the, and the minority community speech well, yesterday, you, you find that that, that that characterization is patently false. I think uh, I was hearing Robert Costa quote people he was talking to from inside the campaign, but we can, we can straighten that out later. Kellyanne Conway, again, a newly named campaign manager for Donald Trump. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judy.